What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to go over a few of the bigger swim baits that I'll be throwing this year and I really have no experience throwing swim baits other than uh, the smaller Kytex. So this is going to be something new for me so I only bought a couple of these. I didn't want to buy a bunch because they can get pretty expensive. So we'll go ahead and go over these with you today as well as the hooks that I'll be throwing the soft plastic one on. First up we have the Little Creeper All-American Trash Fish. This is the six inch one, and this is the Just Shad color, and it's a ghosted color, and it's also tucked out. I'm not sure exactly what tucked out means, uh, but that's the one I got. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. Okay, so right out of the pack, they both come with a little uh, hard plastic holder right here. Looks like they get held by the boot tail. I'll be throwing these in a tackle box, so I won't be using this. Uh, but that's something I've never seen before. Let's go ahead and take it out. Go ahead and take a look here. As I said, this bait is six inches long. This is the shad color and it is ghosted. So you can see through it on the lower half. In the middle, there's a little purplish tint that goes through it. Uh, it's got a little black eye on there. Big old boot tail on the back. Let's go ahead and see. Oh yeah, that thing's going to put off lots of, lots of action. It's got lots of bend to it. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at how we're going to rig this up. I decided to use the 6 out quarter ounce weighted twist lock owner beast hook on this one. You can also rig it EWG style, but I've used the twist lock on the Kytex and I really like that. So that's what I'm going to roll with on the trash fish as well. Let's go ahead and open these up and take a look at the hooks. The 6 out owner beast hook looks really nice. The weight is very solid on the bottom and will not slide off or come loose. And the twist lock is very large. It's actually the largest one I've seen uh, come on this style of hook that I've ever gotten. I used to use the VMC hook, uh, which is still a good hook, but this weight comes loose and it will slide on you. And also the uh, bait holder is pretty tiny on this compared to the owner. That thing's a lot bigger. Seems like it's gonna hold the bait on there better. And these baits can get expensive. So that's why I went with the owner. Now let's go ahead and rig this bait up. Looks like you want to put the screw lock or the twist lock, whatever you want to call it, uh, right underneath the mouth coming at an angle towards the eye. And then you're just going to run the hook underneath like you would any other weedless swim bait and slide it right through the top. So we're going to come in at an angle here and just keep turning the bait until it's all the way. And with this ghost shad, I can actually see it, so I'm not going to, shouldn't come out of the top of the head. Looks like it's going to come in right into the eyes here. Boom. Okay. So that's what it's going to look like once you have it in the screw lock. And then there's a little line underneath here you can see. And you're going to come, hold on, let me take this out of the camera for a minute. This is what it looks like when it's all set up. It looks pretty dang weedless and that tail's got a lot of flop and action to it. It did take me a couple of tries to rig it up properly, but that's just because I'd never rigged one of these before. I ended up coming just uh, above the middle fin underneath and then you just slide it through and the top has a big opening or gap right there. Not sure how well you can see it, but that makes it easy to line the hook up coming through the top. The package did recommend to bend the hook out a little bit. And that's what I did so I could get a little bit better hookup ratio. Uh, this lure looks pretty promising. Can't wait to throw it. Again, this is the Little Creeper All-American Trash Fish. The 6 inch size. It's the Just Shad. And it's tucked out, whatever that means. And it's ghosted. Here we have the Jack All Ganterell Junior Swim Bait. This one comes in at 5 inches long and weighs 1.5 ounces. I have the spawn bluegill color, and this one is the ghost bluegill color. So let's go ahead and open this one up, and we'll go over everything that's on the back of the box. These are considered slow floating swim baits, so they're not going to go down too deep, and it allows you to um, actually stop the lure if you're about to be snagged, and it'll actually float back up towards the top. <clears throat> but if you just give it a steady retrieve, it's just going to look real natural and kind of waver back and forth through the water. This on the box it says uh, if you twitch these it'll actually do a 180 so if something's following it and you give it a twitch and it does that 180 it'll turn around and face whatever's following it and hopefully trigger a bite. These ones have swivels on everything from the hooks 
to where you tie your line on. What that avoids is line twists uh, when you're retrieving, if you get uh, snagged on some weeds or something like that. The hooks, that avoids the fish uh, getting extra leverage to throw the hook, so that swivel should help you land more fish. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, another feature is these uh, feathered treble hooks that it comes with. Those are pretty neat. I've never used those before. I'll probably change them out on one to regular hooks and leave the feathered on one and compare the difference. Also, the uh, pectoral fins on this are really nice. If you can see those, they're real solid. Very realistic. The paint jobs on these are great. It also has a uh, hole in the back on the tail. It says you can add a stinger hook or get creative. Uh, I was thinking maybe tie a leader onto that. Of, you know, just put some fluorocarbon or some mono on the back or even braid, it doesn't matter. Maybe throw a Kitec on there, uh, maybe a spinner. Something like that, you can do whatever you want or leave it normal. Also too, on the front, there is another spot underneath the chin to tie onto. And that says that you could put a weight on there or something if you're trying to get the fish to a deeper depth. Again, this was the Ganterelle Junior by Jack All. These lures look very promising. The paint jobs on these are really nice. This one is the Ghost Gill. This thing looks the perfect size and perfect color in my opinion. I think these things are going to be very promising. This one is the spawn gill. We do have some darker bluegill in the lakes here with those nice orange bellies. Uh, those fins are real nice on there too. My buddy actually told me this thing goes down to about three foot deep. Uh, so if you're going to want to get it deeper, you'll want to tie some type of weight um, under the chin on there. So we got the Jackal, Gantrell Jr. And then we had the Little Creeper, All-American Trash Fish. This one looks great too. However, I was reading the box and it says you can go up to an ADOT hook on this. I do think that this one, this is the six dot. I think it's a little small. Uh, the package came with two. So on that other one, I'm going to go ahead and order a seven dot or eight dot hook and uh, compare the two as soon as this ice melts. Again, thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers this year. Um, good luck out there fishing. Keep those lines tight. Click the like button if you enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time.